Hello! I'm going to show you a drawing exercise that will help you become a stronger artist by drawing trees! Okay, so first draw a straight kind of line and then draw a shape over it and then fill it in with more lines. See? Done. <laughs> no, actually, we're just getting started. Let's draw another one. Now draw a different shape over it, maybe a triangle. And then we'll just fill it in with lines like this. Now let's do it again. This time, maybe like a half circle. And I could have the lines inside it kind of follow it like this. Hey, so are you getting the idea here? And just keep on doing this. And you know what? There's probably a million ways to draw a tree, but we're not gonna do a million ways. How about some squiggly W's inside the tree? Yeah. Or, um, how about a square tree? Yeah, with lines like this. It's kind of interesting, right? Or maybe circle with spikes on it. This is a spiky tree. We have a lot of spiky trees here. Um, okay, let's try some more. Uh, an upside down triangle. Yeah, I, I can imagine a tree like this. Good lines coming up. Or how about popstick? <laughs> Popsicle shape with um, instead of straight lines, we got wiggly, curvy lines inside it. These are the branches, yeah, wiggly and curve. Or maybe you would just have like a weird diamond shape tree with lines that just kind of radiate outwards. Yeah, we'll draw some smaller lines. So I, I think you're kind of getting the idea, right? It's um. You experiment, try different shapes, maybe circles, give it some fruits. It's kind of like a Zentangle. Have you guys zen Zentangled? I Zentangle with my kids. <laughs> or you can call it doodling. It's very relaxing and it's also a good drawing exercise. An exercise makes you stronger, right? A stronger artist. <laughs> Let me tell you my secret. When I was when I want to draw something, there's always, there's just two ways I usually start. For example, let's say I want to draw a bird for a story. I would look at a lot of birds and drawings of birds by other artists to get ideas and inspiration. Or another way is I'll just doodle like this. I'll just play around with shapes and line and after a hundred or so of these, I can go back and find my favorite one. So why don't you guys try it, you know? Just play around, um, try to fill a whole sheet of paper full of trees, but each one different. It really stretches your like, creativity and um, it lets you experiment like this. Oh my goodness, I'm drawing really fast here now. No, just kidding, I'm just speeding this up. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. Let me just draw one more tree for you. I think this one was my favorite one. There we go. I think that looks nice. Oh, hey, there's our Brachiosaurus. It came back to eat our tree. It was that good. Quick, let's color him in while he's here. Quick, color, color, color. Okay, and then. Color a tree too. See, I knew it was a good idea for us to draw trees. There we go. Yay, I'm so happy we found our Brachiosaurus. <laughs> I hope that was fun and helpful for you. So go out and draw some trees. And if you run out of ideas and you can't draw anymore, don't worry about it. It's an exercise. You'll get better the more you try. I'm E.B. Adams, Trinan's author and illustrator on YouTube. Uh, be sure to subscribe or check out my other videos if you haven't. All right. Thanks. Bye.